So the first of the four horsemen is here, the RX 480. AMD recently announced that killer price performance $199 RX 480 4GB card as well as the $229 RX 480 8GB graphics card. RX 480 that delivers VR to the masses starting at $199. With performance that's thought to rival a GTX 980 and greater than that of the R9 390, moving to the 14 nanometer FinFET process with Polaris architecture we're also seeing some incredible power energy efficiency savings as AMD was boasting of the performance per watt of these graphics cards at Computex. And beyond the specifications, it is also our most power efficient GPU. Ever. These cards are certainly gonna be a force to be reckoned with at a $200 price level with over five teraflops of computing, especially since they're beating their direct competition from Nvidia in that of a GTX 1060 equivalent to the graphics card market. So in war, the way is to avoid what is strong and strike at what is weak. That's why it's very smart that AMD is leading with the RX 480 as its price tag is really far away from the GTX 1070 and GTX 1080 and currently dominates the competition at the $200 price level. With all the excitement over the game changer in the RX 480, making virtual reality more affordable with so much performance and so much power efficiency at $199, this is only the first of AMD's four horsemen. Specifications and performance of what is to come is speculative, but like so many of you, looking forward to the technology of tomorrow is not only fun, but helps inform and guide our graphics card purchases and upgrades. So what else can we expect out of AMD in the near future? AMD has put a lot of emphasis on not only just expanding the total addressable VR market, but from a broader perspective, also the $100 to $300 price point level in its entirety. Radeon RX GPUs, $100 to $300 price points, enabling a new segment for VR. Premium gaming. Between $100 to $300. So cards to fill this gap are in the lower segment of the $100 to $150 range, the RX 470, and its variants of the same ilk. We can only speculate at this point as to its performance, but say at a 25% performance reduction to its bigger brother, the RX 480, an RX 470 for $150 is a pretty awesome offering and not a shabby graphics card in the slightest. If it comes in at only a little behind the GTX 970 performance wise, we are looking at a beast of a card for $150. Literally half the price we grew accustomed to seeing of the GTX 970 retail before all these major shifts in the graphics card market. Up next, a major graphics card of interest, AMD's Black Knight, so to speak, that everyone has been buzzing about is a possible RX 490. To fill the void at that $300 price point, there's many reasons to believe we have an RX 490 release on the horizon, especially given the exceptional low wattage of the RX 480 with just one six pin connector and looking through AMD's GPU release history. If it comes in below the GTX 1070's $379 MSRP, this is a real ace up the sleeve of AMD. Given the exceptional low wattage of the RX 480 with just one six pin power connector, it does stand to reason that AMD will come out with an RX 490, another Polaris 10 card, except with more compute units, more shaders, more power allowance. You're looking at a killer $300 card. With the ultra competitive pricing we've seen out of the RX 480, it really would not be surprising at all. This will certainly help AMD acquire more customers and gain some market share. And getting consumers to buy their first AMD graphics card with performance per dollar that you just can't pass up for $199 and $299. And being that 84% of gamers purchase cards within the $100 to $300 level, it is really smart to target this level, even if profit margins are slimmer. Getting AMD GPUs to the masses by expanding the VR market with lower pricing, fitting a card in lower system budgets that are still VR ready, and targeting and bringing in a new generation of PC gamers by giving an unprecedented level of performance per dollar, as well as targeting those serial upgraders and enthusiasts but are just going for the best performance per dollar. So comparing both company sizes, Nvidia having a market capitalization of 24.69 billion, that is its shares outstanding times share price versus AMD's market cap of 3.55 billion. And that seven to one market cap ratio between the two companies isn't even close in terms of Nvidia's revenue and AMD's revenue as they're actually pretty close. 
if AMD really gets its mojo back with not only the four horsemen of graphics, but Zen. So Zen is a very, very special product and project for AMD. Over three years ago, we decided the industry needed another high performance computing CPU. A lower margins and higher market share strategy could lead this underdog to profitability, giving the company a tremendous amount of growth and potential upside. And by selling in such large quantities by potentially dominating the mainstream market, this will no doubt develop customer loyalty and prepare us all for AMD's fourth horseman, Vega, the successor to Fiji, looking to do battle with Nvidia's Big Pascal in 2017, the high end from both companies. All right, everyone, you let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Are the four horsemen of AMD gonna lead this company to success? And is AMD underrated, undervalued, and ready for a comeback? Let me know. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and please be sure to subscribe to my channel. This is John from Tech. Catch you guys in the next one.